Hello my friends, welcome to reddit rabbit. Before we start, catch the rabbit at the bottom right corner, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. r slash ask reddit, what really obvious thing have you only just realized? The first time I visited the USA I was on my own and in NY and going to all the museums. I kept seeing signs that said no strollers and thought, because we call strollers prams in the UK, that you guys are super strict about the proper amount of attention required to visit a museum. I actually pretended to show more interest than I had in order not to be thugged off as some deadbeat out for a casual stroll. It wasn't until about day 3 that I saw the no strollers sign that included a graphic for idiots. Oh my first visit to the states I went to a supermarket on my own and at the checkout the lady asked me paper or plastic? And I didn't know what she meant so I said I have cash, and she very politely didn't tell me I was an idiot. She was in fact asking what type of carrier bags I wanted my shopping putting in, instead of how I was going to pay. That actually is a pretty reasonable misunderstanding. I'm a Brit who got sucked into a holiday job doing door-to-door -door sales for a MLM company in the US. All the doors with signed saying no solicitors confused me. As I was neither an attorney or a rent boy I figured I was in the clear. Fortunately the local police took an afternoon out of my day to explain. Since you just brought it up, I went years after seeing the movie Train Spotting. Thinking Rent Boy was just a cute folksy Scottish nickname for a guy whose name is Renton. Whilst until I read the book and he mentions being offended by the sobriquet that I bothered to look it up. Not a term one will hear in America, that's for sure. Rent Boy equals male prostitute. In case it saves somebody else the googling, because nobody else bothered to mention it yet. I recently realized I was allergic to carrots. I just thought they made everyone's mouth numb. You know, just like almonds, um. I also learned recently that I have an almond allergy. Same here. Thought that raw hazelnuts don't taste good, because they give this weird tingle in your mouth. Found out I had a nut allergy when it suddenly turned from tingle to anaphylaxis and I ended up in hospital for eating nut chocolate. Same. I asked my husband why carrots made your tongue itchy. I'm 35. That big ship's wheel I got to turn as a kid was not actually controlling the cruise ship. This jogged my memory of something. When I was around 13, I was on a flight with a bunch of other kids. I fell asleep during the flight, but woke up during some turbulence. A couple kids near me saw me wake up startled and made a big show of saying whoa. I can't believe the pilot did a barrel roll. A few other people I talked to about it confirmed it, and it took me embarrassingly far into adulthood to realize some people were just messing with me. I mean, a pilot on a commercial flight won't do that, um, right? For the longest time, I always thought prima donna was prima donna. Me, too. My mother would call me that and I thought she meant I was going to be a whore. Well are you? For a long time I thought to bust a nut meant that you were going to kick a guy in the balls or beat him up. So anytime I was getting worked up or angry talking about some guy I would say, I'm going to bust his freaking nut not knowing the real meaning. Nobody ever said anything but it was always followed by my friends laughing so I assumed it was, because I was being dramatic. Years go by and my co-worker is telling me about some rude person he met and I said you should definitely bust that guy's nut. To which he paused and said do you even know what that means? Suffice it to say I was extremely embarrassed and horrified when he explained it to me. Similarly, I have a friend who didn't know what friends with benefits meant. She thought it meant like a friend from work who was literally beneficial to your work. Super embarrassing. But in college I would order Roman Cokes. Because I heard everyone else ordering the same. Turns out I misheard everyone and found out it was just rum and coke. A Roman coke does sound like a great drink though. Mix equal parts rum and cola. Pour over ice and serve. Ah. Just like the ancient Romans did. Except the Romans use lead cups. It's not a Roman coke without that hint of lead. This girl I know has a dog named Deirji. Two years into knowing her and being around Deirji, I was having a conversation with her sister-in-law and I said I love the name Deirji. How did she come up with that? Her sister-in-law responds. Deirji and I said yay, it's a neat name. 
She started laughing and said no. D. O. G. The way you spell dog. I'm still mind blown about this lol. We got a chocolate Labrador quite a few years ago. My dad has been known to name animals after what species they are. This time around, my mum wouldn't let him name the dog dog, so he named her kitty. He also named his horse no name. This is why we don't let him name animals anymore. I knew someone whose dog was named SPOT. 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 That they put measurement stickers next to gas station door so if a robber is running out of the store you can get a better estimate of their height. I always thought they were just there for something fun to do on road trip stops. Um. More than that, they're not actually accurate if you stand against them and measure that way. They're supposed to be placed so the camera will show the correct height of the person. Compensating for the angle of the camera. Whoa. Whole new dimension to it now. Today I learned. When I was little we had an Australian Shepherd named Sydney. I didn't understand why her name was Sydney until 18 years later. I named my American Esk in my opinion Juno. You have an Eskimo? He has an American. Not me, but my sister asked me about two and a half months ago when we were watching John Wick 3 during the dessert scene she asked me if they were real and I asked if what were real and she said Sandlands and I busted out laughing so goddamn hard and said you mean deserts? Yes they're real. Thinking about it right now got me laughing. I think we should start a petition to change the word to Sandlands though. It's pretty good. I thought astigmatism was astigmatism. So I thought you could have two stigmatisms. And I confused stigmatism with both stigma and stigmata. Today my friend realized pipe cleaners were originally for cleaning pipes. Um. After I suggested using one to clean a metal straw. Because it's similar to a pipe. Oh. I had that one about 7 years ago when my stoner ass was trying to clean out a glass pipe. Man. This is so stupid. Someone should invent some sort of freaking pipe cleaner. Oh. I learned that all spice is actually one spice and not a blend of spices containing cinnamon and nutmeg. Reworded. I do not think cinnamon and nutmeg are blends. The houses in Bikini Bottom are car mufflers. What the frick? And Patrick is dumb and knows nothing, because he leaves under a rock. When I was a kid my mum told me my rabbit Rosie went to live on a farm. In my early 20s I saw an episode of The Sopranos where everyone makes fun of Tony when he realizes his dog didn't really go to live on a farm. That's when I realized Rosie had not gone to a farm either. I would like to officially apologize for the cascading wave of terrible realizations my post has caused. Truly we sit on thrones of lies. I'm 30 and I realized a few months ago that howdy is cowboy for how do you do. Buckaroo equals vaquero. Cahoots equals cohorts. Vamoose equals Varminus. Or Vamos. Husagao equals Juzgado. Critter equals creature. Varmint equals vermin. This guy Spanishes. Many, many Spanish words in cowboy, such as desperado, rodeo, etc. etc. I just like the prospector voice slangification of certain words. So, for example, Galatin or how gallant, and gallon for braid, become 10 gallon hat. The Grammys are called that, because the awards are gramophones. Um, now everything has sense now. That Michelangelo's David is David from David and Goliath. How did I not know this? I thought it was just dude called Dave. On a similar note, I'm 37 and only realized a few years ago that the David and Goliath David is the same David as King David in the Bible. Obviously not raised in church. Honestly I forgot for a moment reading this. Oh. Well it could have been another biblical David. Like King Dev. Oh wait. I live in a part of Chicago called Greek Town for 8 years and never realized the blue and white Christmas lights were meant to represent the colors on their flag. It just dawned on me today. That the division symbol divide is just a blank fraction with dots replacing the numerator and denominator. In the same vein, it took me longer than I'd care to admit to figure out that rational numbers means they can be expressed as a ratio of integers. I never had a math teacher explain it that way and it never clicked. I just thought wow, what a weird way to describe numbers. 
what the hell you just made it click after all these years. Well hell, all of these I read and this. This one got me. Mind you I teach elementary school. Thank your lucky stars I don't teach math. Percent symbol 2. Stop. I can't handle much more.